Dr. Professor Sultan Ahmed Ismail, who is uh, presently the Vice Principal of the Head of the Department of Biotechnology in, uh, in New College, Madras. He has been involved in many, many of the activities. He has been a Managing Director of Eco Science Research Foundation Chennai, Head of Biotechnology, Director, Research, Janaki College, Director, Deputy Director, and so on. And he has collaborated in many activities, member of Tamil Nadu State Council for Science and Technology. So he has come out to help us the question of promoting. Um, there are many various terms that used to us. It is called organic farming, natural farming, traditional farming. There are many types of many types of terms. Terms are being used. So our interest has come out for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll just take about five to seven minutes to tell you what's happening around so that we have an idea, background <coughs> ideas. Today's agriculture, how it has been. Uh, it's also called Manakam. Yeah. Now, this is what is our biodiversity. Bio means life, diversity means variety. We all know what's biodiversity. And the, incidentally, Malaysia is very rich in biodiversity. We all know that. We have a very good uh, population of uh, organisms, both plants and animals. Why is biodiversity important for us? One, it gives or sustains the environment. Two, it provides us with basic things like food, clothing, medicine and fuel. Three, it provides us good ecosystem services like clean air and drinkable water. Now, this is what is happening in most of the village or suburban areas of Malaysia, where people use pesticides in so many combinations, very strong medicines, and that to near water bodies. So all this pesticide straight goes back into the water body, contaminating the water body, which Mr. Idris was just talking to you about. One of the ways of contamination. The other ways of contamination, when you spray it on the soils, then all this pesticide goes down into the soil, leaches into the groundwater and contaminates the groundwater. We all know that. It's not a new fact, which you are also aware of. Just wanted to know how things are happening. We are spraying at this level today. Very close contact, both for human being and for the plants. And you spray in such huge concentrations that after the spray, you find water droplets, pesticide droplets falling down. That is the quantity of pesticides which we are applying today in all our countries, including India as well as Malaysia. And you can just see that every 10 years, you find that the quantity of chemical fertilizers being used today in Malaysia has increased. Both uh, you have all the substances, nitrogen, phosphate and potash has increased in the multitude of tons, multitude of tons. Farmers used to use their own seeds here, whether it was Malaysia, whether it was India. But today you have seed politics coming up. Now this seed politics to a large extent has increased the quantity All of us have obtained independence with great difficulty. Now by sacrificing seed in the hands of multinational companies, we lose our genetic freedom. We are going to become slaves genetically from biodiversity genetic slavery. I just wanted to tell you what happens in this. Today the science is progressing towards genetic engineering. Here is a simple organism, this is a bacteria. It's a bacterial gene, Bacillus thuringiensis. That is why it's called as Bt. All you from the media would have heard about Bt cotton, Bt seeds. Bt is not biotechnology. Bt is a bacteria called as Bacillus thuringiensis. So they isolate the toxic part of that gene and transfer it into another plant. For example, this is corn. So they cut it and they paste it. The way we do it in documents in Microsoft, cut and paste. How do we cut and paste? This is how it is being done. As a media, you should be aware when people talk as to what's happening. So I want you people to just have a few slight background about these things, how it is being cut and how it is being